Joined now by our resident CBA expert, Michael Grange, who's in New York covering the negotiations for Sportsnet. Uh, Michael, for those of us who don't speak labor talk speak, what was the latest today? Well, I think movement is the key word. These two, these two people are two sides in this negotiation really haven't been negotiated. They each have had a proposal on the table and have kind of been looking at each other and say, you move first. Today, at least according to the NHL's version of events, they moved first. They changed. They made a counter proposal according to the terms of what the players had put on the, on the table uh, uh, over a week ago now. Now the question is, do the players really perceive it as movement? And that's maybe what we'll find out tomorrow. Okay, so there was a counter proposal. What should we read into that? Well, I think what we're, you're, we're, what we're waiting to see is, is are the players going to see in, in what the owners put on the table today as something they can live with, something they can, they can maybe negotiate off of. And keep in mind, when, what we're going for, there's about a $450 million gap between what the owners would like to get out of the first year of their proposed CBA and what the players expect to get out of their first year, CBA, first year of their CBA. So in between, uh, how can they bridge that gap? What can they get closer together? What, how can the owners achieve their goals in a way that the players can still get paid? All right, sportsnet.ca, Michael Grange earning every penny of his pay for us there in New York City. Michael, thank you.